Hey guys, welcome back to my fish room. So, 10 reasons why I think you should keep these fish. First off, I just wanna point out that I am by no means an expert when it comes to these fish. And everything that I say in this video is obviously just my personal opinion. So at the end of the last video, I said that some of you may be really surprised by what I believe the fish are that everyone should keep. And I know that the moment I mention what these fish are, some of you may click away. However, please hear me out and listen to all the points that I give before you do that. It's just that some of the points I give may surprise you. So, drum roll please. And these fish are guppies. <laughs> so here are my top 10 reasons why I think everyone should keep these guys. Number 10, they're beautiful. Guppies come in a huge range of colors and you can get them in pretty much any color you can think of, along with a multitude of patterns, as well as shapes. I have both the usual shape guppies with the big long tail, as well as a variety of guppies called Enla guppies. These guys are smaller than your regular guppies and have a forked tail, kind of like Bashadis. But seriously, I mean, just look at those colors. Number nine, easy to care for. Guppies make a great beginner fish for hobbyists, as they can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. But it is best to give them hard water with a pH above seven, so basically neutral, and they should be good to go from there. They can tolerate a pH of up to and above eight, and while we're talking about a pH of eight, and that they're easy to care for, number eight, easy to breed. Guppies are really one of the easiest fish to breed. In fact, these guys were even spawning on the way home while they were still in the bag. Just make sure you get more females than males so his attention is spread out amongst the girls. If you do intend on breeding them, just make sure you have something in there for the fry to hide in like java moss, fake plants or even some wool. Guppies eat their babies and I have literally seen a female guppy give birth to fry, immediately turn around and eat it. So. If you give your gu baby guppies plenty of places to hide, you will have literally hundreds of guppies in a few months. Number seven, easy to sell. So you've just bred some rare species of fish and have a few hundred to sell only to find out that no shops want to buy your priced fish. This is so frustrating and it's happened to me and plenty of people I know in the hobby. But this doesn't happen with guppies. Guppies are those type of fish that sell and sell fast because they are so colorful. They attract a lot of newcomers to the hobby and they make great beginner fish. You will never have a problem selling guppies to aquarium stores or even at your local fish club. In fact, I sold about 30 Edler guppies at my cichlid club the other day for $30. I put the reserve as $20 and people were bidding for them and they eventually sold for 30 bucks. Those fish are doing absolutely nothing in my tank and I got more for them than some of the cichlids that sold that night be it a dollar a fish, but actually there were a couple of lots of cichlids that didn't sell and got passed in at a cichlid club, yet the guppy sold. Number six, eat excess waste. Guppies eat anything and everything and are pretty good at eating uneaten food left over by other fish. They happily eat algae off your glass, of course not as good as bristlenose catfish, but they will nibble at it. I've even seen guppies eat detritus worms so guppies play a role in keeping your aquarium clean. Number five, dither fish. Dither fish? What the? Dither fish is a term used to describe fish that are kept in an aquarium to bring out nervous or skittish fish. Having dither fish in your aquarium can make your shy fish feel less vulnerable and in danger. And guppies make great dither fish, like you can see here. I've placed a few guppies in my white calvus tank. These calvus are so shy and skittish and even after over a month of owning them, they are still a bit jumpy. But since putting these guppies in their tank, it has helped the calvers feel less vulnerable and they are starting to get used to me being in front of their tank. Number four, live food. Okay, so this point may be a little bit of a controversial one, but guppies make great live food for other fish. And I can understand that some people may feel differently about this, but I mean, their own parents eat them. So with point number six and using guppies as dither fish, you may have noticed the guppies I chose for my calvus tank were also heavily pregnant females. 
So placing some female guppies in the calvus tank had two benefits. One, the guppies made the calvus feel less vulnerable, literally bringing them out of their shells. And two, supplying the calvus with live food. Obviously though, don't rely on guppy fry alone to feed your fish like this. Say, if you were going away for a few days or a few weeks or something, they still need their regular food. And also, obviously, you can feed larger fish for adult guppies. This is heaps cheaper than buying feeder fish from your local fish store. And if you do it right, you will never run out of quality live food for your fish. Plus, you know that guppies are disease free because you raised the guppies yourself. Number three, start the nitrogen cycle. Okay, another potentially controversial point here, but if you want to start a cycle in the aquarium, then you could look at using a guppy or two to start the nitrogen cycle off. If you don't know what the nitrogen cycle is, it's basically a cycle that every aquarium goes through when you start a new aquarium up. The very rough guide is that it takes approximately six weeks to complete. However, all aquariums are different. The tank will go through three phases, an ammonia stage, a nitrite stage, and finally a nitrate stage. The first two stages, ammonia and nitrite, are toxic to fish. However, once you get past the nitrate phase, your ammonia and nitrite levels should be close to or at zero. It is at this third stage that it is safe to add your prized fish. This is because you should have enough beneficial bacteria in your system to effectively eat the ammonia and nitrite. Now, kicking off that ammonia cycle can be done a number of ways. Some people drop in a few pieces of food, say a prawn or two, and this can kick off the first stage, which is the ammonia stage. Some people actually add in small quantities of actual ammonia into the water, while others let the water and filter do its thing, but this can take a very long time. However, others add some cheap fish to the aquarium to start the cycle off. I have never done this, and personally I do kind of lean to the side of it being inhumane, but it can be done. Number two, canary fish. What is with all these controversial points the closer we get to number one? So, guppies are dither fish and now also canary fish? What the? I'm kind of using a metaphor here to back when canary birds were used in coal mines as a warning to the miners that carbon monoxide was at dangerous levels. And you can use guppies to literally test the waters before adding in more expensive fish into your aquarium to make sure it's safe for them. And number one, create your own fish. You can experiment with different colors, patterns, and shapes and see what comes out. That said, females can store a male's milt, also known as sperm, in her body for up to 10 months. So this might not always work, but you can, if you try, get your own variation on colors, patterns, and shapes, if you work at it. There is always a surprise when you fry born, and you'll never get bored with these little fish. So there you go guys, my top 10 reasons why I believe everybody should keep guppies. So what do you guys think? Do you think I missed any points there? Do you agree or disagree with what I have to say? Or do you think that there's any reason why you shouldn't keep guppies? If you've got any reasons, leave them in the comments section below because I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Now if you found this video informative, please hit the like, comment and subscribe buttons. It would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. Alright guys. I'm going to wrap this one up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.